Hey guys, look at this again. I've got a day off, it's sunny, I'm on the bike. What could be better? Oh yeah, I'm going to the pub tonight as well. Yes! It'd be a lot nicer if that wasn't so wet. But you know, swings and roundabouts. But yeah, I finally got another day off. It's the first time this week. And it's sunny and it's warm. It's not, a it's actually, I'm feeling warm. So I've only got a t-shirt, a hoodie, then the bike jacket. And I'm wearing my summer gloves and I'm not cold. It's a sign. Summer is finally just around the corner, I think. I think we're definitely in spring now. I think spring has sprung. I should have gone on a road that isn't a 20 limit. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh yeah, and it's a good Friday today, so uh, happy Easter everyone. Yeah, again, I'm going, I'm on my way to the vape shop because I need more liquid. But I'm getting bored of recording the same route, so I'm going to take a different one. And I'm pretty sure you're all getting bored of watching that same route as well. What the fuck was that? Was just a little bump just as I accelerated. That scared me a little. Oh, something else that you can probably tell by now. I have bought a new visor for my helmet. I've got the mirrored one on at the moment, but I've also got a blue one and a iridium one. So I've got five visors for this helmet. But that's what happens when you get paid three times more than you're contracted to be paid. And that's because I was doing those night shifts. Three times more money than I've ever had in a month. And I'm in a fucking good mood. I wonder how long this will last, the nice weather. Actually, I've looked at the fucking forecast for next week. I've got most of next week off work. I'm going up to Lincoln up until Thursday. And it's going to rain every fucking day. Can't wait. Yeah. This is a problem. I get in a good mood. I go way too fast all the time. I just can't help myself. I want to accelerate like mad. Yeah. And of course, my old bike shop, it's a beautiful day. People are gonna to wanna to get out on their bikes. They might need some work doing. They haven't used it all winter. He's closed. He's always closed when he needs to be open. It's ridiculous. And it's a Friday. He is meant to be open on a normal Friday. Get on your side of the road. Oh yeah. It's a good Friday, and it? You probably wouldn't be open. That does make sense. I'll stop slagging him off now. Sorry, Ralph. I forgot. You're still a bit of a dick though, aren't you? Anyone that knows him, like Jay Fezzer, you will agree with me on this. He is a dick. But anyway, enough about that. I'm in a good mood. What? When, since when were these traffic lights? These were never traffic lights. This was a zebra crossing. Oh yeah. The last video. Was it the last one? No, the video before last. I came down here on the uh, channel update new helmet video. And they were resurfacing the road and they were doing loads of work and everything. So I'm assuming they put in some traffic lights and what is going on there? What is this? There's a cross, there's a band, there's someone pulling out on me because they didn't see me. There's a fountain, everyone loves a good fountain. You can't have a roundabout without a fountain. And yeah, by the way, this is a fucking big roundabout.
got people with signs as well. I'm actually very intrigued. Oh god, fucking bank holiday, innit? It's gonna be packed. Oh, there's so many people. People. I don't like people. People irritate me. But, good mood. Let's not get annoyed today. The amount of videos I've started off in a good mood and ended up being really pissed off. Keep it positive. Look at the doggy. <laughs> oh. There is something I need to mention. I've just remembered it. I thought about it before I started the video. I remember now. Uh... At the moment, it's quite difficult for me to actually do, well, record and upload vlogs because of how much I'm working. Because they keep giving me all these extra hours and everything. But it's going to get harder soon because I've applied for a full-time contract, which means more money, more work. But the upside to having a full-time contract rather than a 10-hour contract is when I was doing the 10-hour contract, well, I'm still on it, with the 10 hour contract, I have to work 4 hours on Thursday, 6 hours on Saturday. And then they call me in nearly every fucking day. I've been doing pretty much full time, if not more than full time hours in the last 3-4 uh, months. But with full time I'd be earning more money than I am now and I would have set days of where I work. Instead of having a a couple of random days off every week or so I'd have say every uh, Sunday and Monday off I'd have a much more predictable uh, work life because I'd know what days I am working what days I'm not and they'd always be the same at the moment I'm trying to upload like two or three videos every week but because I don't know when my days off are, they're never the same days. But what I can do, if I do end up having every, like, Sunday and Monday off, I could actually record two or three videos on those days and space them out over the week. So actually, it's going to be harder for me to do the vlogs because I'm working more, but it's going to be a whole lot easier because I'll know when my days off are. Fucking hell. That is a lot of people today. Anyone want a sofa? Don't smile at me when you're walking towards me. There's a crossing three feet behind you. Fucking hell, people are dumb. A bank holiday. Everyone, let's just go out and get run over. I can't get hurt by a car today. It's a bank holiday. That's illegal. They have to stop. No. Damn, that's where I wanted to park. Are they open? That's the question. Yes, they are. Oh, sorry. I should not be left in charge of my own money. I tell you that. Because once I get some, I fucking spend it. But look, I live in two mindsets always one or the other it's like i have a mindset one where i'll make five pound last three weeks or mindset two where i'll go into a shop and spend 250 quid within five minutes and it turns out today i'm definitely in mindset number two and i'm going to a fucking pub tonight as well and tomorrow night i'm gonna have no money <laughs> Though I'm still doing well saving up for my new bike. I've got at least £3,000 saved up by now. No, I've got about four. Because every month I've been putting a few hundred in. God, that visor's good. You lift it up to scratch your eye and then you're blind. But yeah, at this point I could just about afford a second hand bike that I want. Again, I'm not going to tell you what bike it is. That would be a surprise. But I could just about afford the second hand one. But I want a new one. I want the 2016 model. I've just noticed this video isn't going to get uploaded for a couple of days. 
by the time you're watching this. Oh, I recorded this on Friday the 24th. Good Friday. So I've got no idea how long it's going to take me to actually edit and upload this, but I'm going to be a busy man for the next few days. So you might see this at some point at the start of next week. In fact, you'll probably be seeing this on Monday. I might be able to get it up on Sunday. No, I'm going up to Lincoln on Sunday, aren't I? Yeah, I'll, I'll take my hard drive up to Lincoln. Because then I can uh, fiddle about with it and sort it all out while I'm up there. Right, I'm going to do something that I vowed never to do on a 125 again. I'm going to go up Wilbury Hill. If you don't know what that is, or where that is, it's in Letchworth. Well, I'm not sure, it's either in Letchworth or in Hitchin, it's like on the fucking border. But it is ridiculously steep, and the last time I tried it on my old Suzuki, I almost ended up going down it backwards. Because it just didn't have the power. Let's see if Jesse here can do it. Now I do know that uh, wind, what, wind? wide angle lenses really don't do distance or gradient any justice. But look at this. Right, let's get up some speed. Don't go slower than me. I don't know if I can make it. Speed up. I don't know how this is going to come across in the in the video, but that is a fucking steep hill. And we're doing 50. It's a 60 limit and we're doing 50. Come on. Still in fifth gear. Fourth gear. She did it! She did it! Good girl! You made that seem slightly easy. Well, thank you, my good madam. Speed up. Seriously, speed up. Oh, God. What the fuck is all with the mud? Oh, 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 oh. Avoiding all of it. Yeah. Anyway, right. And relax. Right, shall we do this properly? Right, I'm going into a 30 limit. That's how you do it, isn't it? No? Aww. So you're telling me that you don't do 60 up to the 30 sign, then slam your brakes on down to 30? Is that not... Aww. Anyway guys, this has been fairly random. So I think I'll catch you all next time.